Hello and welcome to Daily Racing Forms coverage of the Stronic 5 wager. I'm handicapper Byron King. I'll be taking a look at the Stronic 5 for Friday, March the 15th. Let's get started. We go off to Laurel Park for the first leg. We've got Maidens. And in here, Bunting, the number three, looks like clearly the one to beat. Fourth first time out, came back with a much improved second, just beaten. Clearly has a lot to offer, speed, good form, winning rider, just figures to be fairly low on the odds board. Beyond this horse, though, I think you've got the potential for some big prices if Bunting doesn't fire for whatever reason. So I'm going to take a shot with two others in addition to Bunting. Zircon Slotty, the 8, and Raining Fire, the 7. Zircon Slotty was outrun in his only start, but has worked a bullet a few times, which hints of more improvement. And also, with Raining Fire, we're looking at a horse that's turning back in distance that's kept good company. Leg B, Gulfstream's ninth race. Here, Dance Proudly, this nine horse, and Tenacity Zip, the four, look like the class of the race to me. Dance Proudly comes off a win at the level, and Tenacity Zip is dropped out of starters and is now in for a tag. Leg C, Gulfstream's fifth race. Again, I like two horses here. Equal Measure, the Six, and Lady Midtown. Both come here by way of Southern California and fit well against Starter Company. The big question with both is how they'll handle the synthetic track. Equal Measure goes from dirt to synthetic, while Lady Midtown goes from turf to synthetic. In general, turf to synthetic type of runners do tend to handle the surface switch a little bit better, but Equal Measure brings a lot to the table in this race. And if she maintains her form, she's rock solid. Moving on to leg D, that's Gulfstream's 10th. Here we've got Maiden Claimers and a big group of them, 14. I settled on using three horses, the three, Vaughn, the five, Starship Taxi, and the six, Accountant Q. All have good form at the level, though they all have drawbacks to some degree, which is what you would expect from bottom level Maiden Claimers. Last up, we go back to Golden Gate. There I like Oracle of Omaha, the six, in the final leg of the wager. He comes from Santa Anita. Should appreciate facing a softer group, seemingly, at least, of, of starter runners compared to those that he faced in Southern California. If he falters with the move to synthetic, Mr. Diplomat, the five, and 80 proof, the nine, are horses that bring quality Golden Gate form into this race. Put all these together with the $1 minimum in the Stronic 5, it comes out to a $108 ticket. Good luck however you choose to play the Stronic 5 for Friday, March the 15th.